for two kids, two adults. Yeah. The reservation on our phone is clear, but we reserved. Yeah. What do you expect us to do? Well, with that one, we could get you checked in. It came in as a king suite reservation, so it has a king bed and a sofa pull-up couch. We expect us to do that. We, we, we have two kids and us. We can't all sleep in a king bed. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's just, it's the way that Booking.com sent us the reservation, so all that we have is that, and we're sold out for tonight. Okay, I get that. So what do you expect us to do? Okay, guys, so this girl goes by local tumbleweed. She's a TikToker, and she works at this hotel. As the video goes on, this customer over here is just getting more and more nasty. He's demanding a different room because he doesn't think it's big enough, but this hotel is all booked up, but he don't want to take no for an answer. Look at this, guys. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yes, so we could either check you into the room or we could cancel the reservation. That's the only two options. Do you have a car? No, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, where else are we going to go? Are there any other Holiday Express hotels you can check us into? I don't have the power to do that, but there are Holiday Inn Expresses in Bloomington. So you're not going to help us. You're going to say, take the room as it is, or you're on your own. What I can do to help you guys is get you guys checked into the room that has the king bed and the sofa pullout couch. But apart from that, we don't have any other rooms to check you guys into. If it's regarding what you guys reserved, you would have to call Booking.com so that they could assist you with something that happened on their end. But this is just the information that we've received from Booking.com. Who hasn't checked in? What else is available? Where the four beds? We don't have any other rooms available. Who hasn't checked in yet? These rooms are reserved. I can't take them from somebody that's already reserved a room. You gave somebody our room, right? The way it was supposed to be reserved? No, because we held the room that we had the information for, which is the King Suite. That's what Booking.com sent over to us. So we kept that room for you guys. How did you think four people would fit in that room? I mean, when, when, when you see it come in, don't you go, hmm, this doesn't make sense. So she literally tells him there are no other rooms available. So either one, you're going to have to either take the room or you, you're just going to have to cancel the order. I just find it funny that he's like, so what do you expect us to do? Sleep in the car? Like, bro, you are a grown ass man. You act like there's no other hotels in the area. And if there are no other hotels in the area, then it, it would make more sense to take the room instead of having your kids sleep in the car. Think about your kids. But he want to keep saying, so you're not going to help us? You're not going to help us? And it's like, bro, she just works here. There are no rooms available. And for the people that don't know, booking.com is something that you can use to book hotels and flights. But some people don't understand that this is an agency. This isn't the hotel itself. What some people don't understand is that if you have them book for you and there's a problem or an error, you have to go right back through Booking.com to fix the error. The hotel isn't going to change the reservation that Booking.com did. How did you think four people would fit in that room? I mean, when, when you see it come in, don't you go, hmm, this doesn't make sense? No, because Booking.com sends us the information, so that's the reservation and we hold it as it is. So you, think, so you think four of us can sleep in that room? That's your suggestion. I, I'm not too sure how you guys were going to, you know, do the setup in there. We just have the reservation as it was sent into us. And you have no other alternatives to solve it? We're completely sold out for tonight. This step and end, like you have a king bed and a full off, right? Yeah. You have two beds and four yeah. kids. Two kids and us. And that's it's not your business either. Why are you doing jumping into this? It's not well, look, like, I mean, I don't I'm think that it's... It's not your business. I, it's... I'll jump into this motherfucker. Now, maybe I'm not good at fucking math, but this is what my brain is doing. Okay, so look, you got one motherfucker right there and one motherfucker right there so boom that's two and that's a king size fucking bed so that's a lot of space then right then we got two little motherfuckers so we put one over here and we put one over here see that's enough room for all of you right so that's like worst case scenario you gotta sleep next to your girl or like one of your good friends so big deal it's a king bed it's a lot of space i can sleep in the same bed with one of my friends in a king bed i don't give a fuck and he would rather sleep in the car then take that room, unreasonable.
it's you know uh, that's not really respectful i think we can just go ahead and cancel your reservation then what are we gonna do you know i'm not too sure but there are a lot of hotels in the area why don't you just sit tight for a second i will i'll be here till 11. and you can tell just how uncomfortable she feels in this situation it can be very hard to hold your composure when you got someone just in your face like this he lucky it wasn't me let's look at these comments I'll be here till 11. Yeah, that was the best part. That was some ball shit. He knew he was wrong and looking for a problem. I want to believe that, but some people can be so stupid. Or he thinks that if he just acts like an asshole, he'll just get what he wants, even though he's in the wrong, which then, yeah, fuck those people. He was too comfortable taking someone else's room. Right! How are you going to tell her to give you somebody else's room? See, this the nerve of some people. It's just crazy level of entitlement. Four people, one king bed and one sofa bed. Bro, you can easily make do. You saw my pictures. I, it's right. You can make do. I hate third-party bookings. They always blame us for the mistakes. See, I know because people don't understand. Yo, it had a pull-out couch and he was still going right, bro. He was making a whole case. He probably thought he could book that room thinking he can just walk in and change what he selected. Exactly. And then when he found out he couldn't, he just wanted to be an asshole. Everyone on here saying those motherfuckers could have fit. Like, right. Now, after Tumble posted this, I don't think she expected this, but this video blew up to 30 million views. Bro, this got 5 million likes, okay? So after this, everybody know what happened to Tumble. And people wanted to know what happened next. And Tumble just posted an update. So what happened was he basically reserved a two queen bed suite that had the two queen beds and the sofa pullout couch. Um, but then he called and he canceled that reservation because it was too expensive. And then he made um, another reservation through a third party for the king suite that has obviously the king bed and the sofa pullout couch. Um, but he was fighting to get like the two queen bed suite, but we were sold out because he canceled. Um, so regarding like any type of like compensation, it doesn't really, I can't do anything since it's not made through the hotel. Um, we have free breakfast, so I'm not able to like give him a voucher. Um, I could call hotels in the area, but it's made through a third party. So either way, he would have to pay for like two separate rooms unless if he called the third party and asked them to cancel. Wait, 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 wait. He had another room with only two queens, canceled it to buy a cheaper room, then walked in and said, where the fuck is my room with the two queens that I reserved? And I ain't even going to comment on that because that's just plain stupid, okay? You mad at the wrong person. You should be mad at yourself. Also, if your last room was two queens, right, which is what you wanted, it's still about the same number that only fits four people. I don't understand why the futon didn't work. See, he was just being a mick asshole, a super mick asshole. What the fuck? He did come back. It's not super exciting, but I have that video if you guys want to see that too. Yes, we do want to see it, and I found the video. Yeah, we can cancel. Um, if there's no penalty, Booking.com gonna charge us? No, but you just gotta give a call to Booking.com and let them know that you want to cancel, and then there's no penalty. Okay. What the fuck do you mean? I don't believe you. Like what? I work here. Who who do you want to believe? And he spitting on your flow? She holds her composure very well, bro. Cause I don't know, man. I. I'm losing my fucking job. Depending on how much you disrespect me, maybe I won't lose my job, but you're not getting booked. You gotta go. Okay, call booking.com. Oh, you definitely get enough. I do you know what the cancellation terms are? Is there a 24-hour notice? They could tell you. We're not paying for two rooms. We're gonna hold it until we call booking.com and cancel it. Yep. Thank you. And after being a Mick asshole with cheese, you're going to say thank you at the end. Like, I just cannot believe this. This girl's a legend because she better than most people and maybe in some places me. What do y'all think about this? Guys, we just made it to 400,000 followers. I'm really a music artist, but I make these videos because I know you like them. So please follow the page for me. And besides all of this, remember, when you woke up in your bed, it was just you. You had a plan. You have come so far. Do not forget why you did all that work. I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and we not going to live it being no weak motherfucker on dead nim. We got work to do. Pop your shit, star. If it was love, then why didn't you stay? 
I remember every time you told me that I was the one that couldn't be replaced But it was so easy to throw us away And the only way I keep my peace is thinking the universe wants it to be I fucking love you but not more than me When I could die tomorrow I cannot leave with a regret You acting different, I'm peeping on that I really wanted to stay till the end But 